Hello, today I'm going to be discussing what went into the creation of my simple photo gallery drone photography website. Now, if you look at it, there's, it's pictures with a few simple interactions overlaid with them. One of them that you may notice at first is how the, um, the backgrounds scroll up instead of scrolling down kind of revealing reveal, revealing the photos in the reverse direction that they would normally be on a website. Another thing that you'll notice is how the, um, the text reveals itself and then sticks in place once it's where it should be instead of scrolling down normally. If this was a normal scroll and I was scrolling um, and if I and I was scrolling down on this, the text would disappear right away. Instead, it stays until the the head, the top photo has almost fully disappeared, and then it takes it with it. Now, moving over to Webflow, I'm gonna clear it out, and to start, I'm gonna add in sections. Now, there's an overlying format to the sections, which I'll do with a, a simple section class, which is a height of 100 viewport height, which is a um, responsive design, meaning instead of a fixed height, it's exactly 100% of any screen. So if I go to a phone, it's the same. Responsiveness is key. Now, I'm going to add three photos. So I'm going to put these in. They're all called section three, so I'm going to make subclasses. So when I edit one, it doesn't affect all of them. Or they don't lock together. They, yeah. So now I'm going to come in here, and now to get this effect where it scrolls up, I'm going to do what's called a, I'm going to enact what's called a fixed background. So I'm going to go in, grab a sunrise for my photo, let's see, get the right one, and then, wait, why is this not showing up? Wrong one. I'm going to go in, select the right one. <laughs> Sunrise for my photo, and now it's I'm custom, so I could move it around and put it wherever I want. But instead, I want it to cover. Contain is also an option where it shows the full photo, but this is better. I can now move it around so it shows different angles. Uh, I think I'll go with that. You can also get more precise here. Now the key is I'm going to switch to a fixed background, which means it fixes itself, and as it scrolls up, it um. It acts with the background and it kind of overlays. So this needs to change. I'm going to go with kind of a midday photo. We'll go with a, a day's cycle kind of theme here. Um, hopefully, the audio is okay. This mic is kind of terrible, but <laughs> should be fine. Now I'm going to go for a sunset. Whoa! Wrong right, photo. There's two of them there. <laughs> I always pick the wrong one. Okay, coverage, fix. Nice. So now we have this interaction. The other interaction that's on this is a lot more um, complicated is the sticky the sticky header. Now one key thing to mention that I already kind of dealt with is the photo size. These photos can only be three megabits of size if you're doing web flow. So I would highly recommend for using as a platform, it's kind of an intimidating learning curve, but they have a whole um, they have a whole site devoted on teaching because it is somewhat complex. It has full courses and stuff. Not sponsored, but it was it's really cool way to learn. I, you know, I've never really done website building, but it's just super. You know, you can just go right through it, and it's amazing. It's 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 almost like a, a perfect learning experience. Um, and yeah, so, anyways, <laughs> back to what I was doing, um, couple, and it was 90% off because I'm a student, so it was ridiculous, for CMS hosting, so I can host my website for, like, a dollar a month or something, it's ridiculously cheap, which would cost $15 a month if it was, um, full price. Now... Now I'm going to add in a 
div block. And then into my div block, I'm going to add text. That's going to go in. You can see with this, these things are on the same level. So my text block is not within a div block. I can drag it and place it in. Or I can actually just move it around in the, um, can I? Yeah, move it around in it. <laughs> to put it where I want it. Now you can see that the text block is inside the div block. I'm going to put my text in first. Why not? Spell it right. Nice. And now I'm going to take my div, my div block and the first thing that I'm going to do is add padding within it, which will help later. Again, using a responsive um, measure. So when it is per se on a smartphone, it adapts to the screen size. Now I'm going to, I'll make it sticky first. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to make it sticky. And then if I scroll, it doesn't do anything. The key here is adjusting this. So I'm going to make this one view height, I think. And I'm going to make this, what did I make this like 10 view height? So I'm going to, I'm going to match it. That should work. Did not work. <laughs> oh, I put it in the wrong. Uh, it should work. Uh, okay. Anyways, moving forward. <laughs> Why didn't that work? Oh, wait. Yeah. We'll circle back around to this. Next, I'm going to make it the size that I want. I'm going to make it. Like that, and then I want to do that. Just having this problem where it's just like being weird. I'm gonna make it a declared class because maybe I'll just mess up with it. Okay. Now it worked. Okay. Not sure what that was. Now I'm gonna make it bold. And we're just kind of going for this look, so that's that's pretty close. Now you'll notice that it's a different color. So to make color, I'm gonna do another trick where it's like color blotching. So I'm just gonna add another one, make this number four, and then I'm gonna change the background of it so that I can. I already did this, but I took a screenshot of the Airbnb website. The concept here is to make it the same color as the Airbnb website, so then when Airbnbs look at it, it seems more reputable because they subconsciously associate it with a trusted website, which they use every day. So to pirate this color off of here, <laughs> I'm going to go to any color selection. I already did it once. Go to any color selection, pick it, and then go to the plus. That's messed up. <laughs> <laughs> it's not okay, but we're going to change that to Airbnb. Okay, now I have two of the exact same color swatches. And I'm just going to delete this section, but I'll keep the color swatch. Um, change my color to my Airbnb color. And now that should match perfectly. Nice. You'll notice I have a, a border here, which is the same color as the gray that Airbnb uses. <laughs> Um, so let's see if we can make that happen. I'm going to make this one view height. Uh, it's kind of thick, but I'm not going to want to do it. Eh, that's fine. One view height, and then I need to make it... Eh, I'm going to make it point eight actually. Okay, okay. And then there's a little space in here, so I'm going to add a little padding on the inside. Padding goes in. Eh, eh, wait, let me go down here. Eh, okay. Padding goes in, and margins are on the outside. Um, yeah, so not sure why it's not, why it doesn't want to let me do that, but it's kind of whatever. So I'm just going to push it, and then holding shift, I can edit all of them at the same time. Of course, that's giving me pixels. So I'm going to go back here and go to
too high. Again, making it responsive. Now I'm going to hold shift. And put it where I want it. And let's go for one. I like that. That's pretty close. Now, I'm going to make the color right. So I'm just going to make it kind of a gray thing. That's pretty ugly. But <laughs> it's fine. It's for demos, demo purpose. Um, and I'm not going to do the um, the fin at the end because it's, it's really the same concept. It'd be kind of repetitive. Um, and then finally, I just need to make this work right. So I'm going to go to my tool, rat, and then, oh, I'm going to go to my, oh, that's the issue. Okay, so I just need to add margin on the outside. I think it's kind of the point. There's, you know, there's many different ways to kind of go about this kind of thing. But when you understand how it kind of interacts with itself, you can kind of navigate it. So that works. How I want it to, um, and yeah, so that's that's that. There's my tutorial on how to make the website. Again, vision is per personally the hardest part about building a website for me. It was it took time to work my way through it. The best way to learn is experimentation, and then soon, if you stick with it, you'll be able to build with sets like this if you want. That's it. I hope I hope you learned something from this. Have a good one.